It's as if the deepest fault lines of our democracy have suddenly been exposed, perhaps even widened. And although we know that such divisions are not new, though they've surely been worse in even the recent past, that offers us little comfort. Faced with this violence, we wonder if the divides of race in America can ever be bridged. We wonder if an African-American community that feels unfairly targeted by police and police departments that feel unfairly maligned for doing their jobs can ever understand each other's experience. We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. After their exhaustive review of the evidence, the grand jury deliberated over two days, making their final decision. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson and return a no true bill on each of the five indictments. A lot of people are yelling, some yelling profanity, saying that they can't believe this, that it's unfair. But the mood out here is a little tense right now as people are wondering how others are going to react to the news. For my generation, let me spark this. My melanin shades of darkness. A blessing given from the heavens, yes. And still we labeled as a target. Originators from the true creator. What I speak is facts, never far-fetched. Innovators show the world of love. Why so many rather glorify death than the world truly driven by debt. The rich live in a poor stress. Government keep making projects. Make sure we ain't making progress At times, yeah, it's hard to digest How the system tend to want you lifeless Where I live, cops are the terrorists But they got you thinking that it's ISIS What I speak about, man, is priceless With no hesitation, beat the situation Revolution, yeah, what we truly facing Ain't no time for marching or perpetuating Got the ammunition and the dedication No more walking around feeling frustrated Why be educated and not liberated Please recognize, take this information Why my homies out here steady fighting cases Same game, only different stages Overnight they want us all in cages We built this nation with no wages Fought in every war and show patience Why they manifest and grow hatred What my people want is so basic If you don't give it, man, we gon' take it Get out of the car And then you I will say, light you up, get out Wow Now Wow Get out of the car Ready For a failure to signal, you doing all of this for Get over there for a You're about to break my wrist, can you stop? Oh, yeah. You are about to Stop! Now! Stop it! Knock my head in the ground like an apple after you. Good. 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 Many say this country growing colder Better peep gang like I told you Twelves got your numbers rolling every day It's crazy looking over shoulders To protect and serve not control us The brutality will never slow up Till we understand and focus Never let the system try to mold us In the struggle, listen, I'm a soldier So I gotta do this for my culture Why they try to harvest all our organs Sell them on the black market, meet the voters Why you make a face like you ain't noticed We involuntary organ donors my people out here missing every day Why the rich is trying to live longer All this evil blended in among us We overcoming and get stronger Feeling favor from us, blessings many ways I'm awake, plenty in the cone When the storm comes, I continue to live my life From the soul out the deeper side Do it all, still enjoy the ride Head to the sky, represent with pride We need to unite, don't let them divide Our legacy, many will try to hide Even in school, they be teaching lies Our history, yeah, they keep in disguise When will we wake up and realize this is a message, so be advised. Yo, this is a message, so be advised. Here we go again. Another black man killed by a white police officer and no indictment. Uh, Eric Garner was killed uh, in July because the police put him in an illegal chokehold and uh, the medical examiner said he died because of the chokehold and ruled it a homicide. Uh, grand jury in Staten Island apparently did not agree and refused to indict. Last year, 25-year-old Freddie Gray died after suffering from a severe spinal cord injury while being held in police custody. And today, the second of six Baltimore officers involved in the fatal arrest was found innocent on all charges. Officer Edward Nero, one of six cops charged with crimes related to Gray's death, was acquitted of second-degree assault, misconduct, and reckless endangerment this week. Nero will now face an internal review by the Baltimore Police Department, which pretty much means nothing at this point. Even though we could have probably 
predicted that this would be another not guilty verdict, it's still not any easier to digest. Another Baltimore police officer was acquitted on all charges today in the death of Freddie Gray. Lieutenant Brian Rice faced charges of involuntary manslaughter, reckless endangerment, and misconduct in office. Gray was a black man. Rice is white and the highest ranking of the officers. Three earlier trials resulted in two acquittals and a mistrial. Gray's death started protests, rioting, and the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, it's pretty quiet so far here on the streets of Oakland. As we were driving in a little while ago, we saw shop owners boarding up their shops uh, in anticipation of the verdict. Uh, there is lots of fear and worry here that, that folks who are supporters of uh, Oscar Grant's family uh, might cause some sort of disturbances uh, on the streets of Oakland. It happened last year after the shooting. Uh, so far, no evidence of that. Police officers in the area are, are prepared and have been warning folks that uh, they're fully deployed. They've been on a tactical uh, alert, a modified tactical alert all week. The only reaction we've heard uh, is when the word of the verdict started to spread that it was involuntary manslaughter, which of course is the, the least of the three charges that Officer Meserly or former Officer Meserly could have been convicted of.